uh, Nikhil Harry revenge game uh, coming up here in Foxborough. I don't want to crap all over Nikhil because I just don't think that's fun or fair. I think we know what he is. We know what he was. We know that it, we know what he, and most importantly, we know what he wasn't. Um, so, uh, but I want to flip it to, uh, does it feel like the Patriots finally got one right with Tyquan Thornton? You know, Nikhil Harry is a reminder of what you, you, you're not supposed to do. And Tyquan Thornton in his first action here, um, you know, now these last couple of games here, just looks like a guy who's got something, uh, special going on. And uh, I guess the question here is, you know, we talked about whether or not he could start to get the reps and start to supplant some more established receivers and get on the field and play, uh, you know, depending on the personnel packages, um, get significant snaps in order to be out there and be a, a threat, or is he just going to be uh, certain packages, only three, maybe four receiver sets or a gadget sort of player. We saw him score on a jet sweep uh, last week. Uh, do you think he's going to start being used more prominently in more, uh, more game situations than he, than he has been? And, and what's the ceiling here? I mean, I do. And I think they've been trying to get him the ball pretty clearly in his first two games. Um, I think we saw it, especially last week. Uh, there's also a degree where, you know, Jacoby Myers is your clear number one. Hunter Henry is your solid, safe number two. And Thornton is the guy where you want to get him confident. You want to see what he can do when he's given these opportunities. And I think it's important to understand that he's getting more chances than we usually have been seeing from Kendrick Bourne this year. So it's very obvious that this is someone they want to feature. And he's been doing a really great job. I mean, he's getting open when he's running true routes. Guys are having a really hard time stopping him off the line of scrimmage. You saw last week where he gets stopped on the one rep where the guy gets a hand in his chest when he's trying to break across the field and it stops the route and he, you know, he gets shut down. Very next rep, he shakes the guy off the line of scrimmage, gets wide open, Zappy finds him on the second read and it's a touchdown. And you're like, damn, that was a really good rep. So, you know, I, I always want to, you know, have the little bit of grounding everything where, you know, he may have his struggles for sure because he is still a rookie, but I mean, his, he looks fantastic. And it's, I feel like now it's become more of a talking point because his speed was all anybody talked about for a while, but the quickness yeah. is the real difference maker. And also just the toughness that he brings. Like yeah. you see it as a blocker. He, there was one screen where you saw him. I, I might've been a slight hold that he might've gotten away with, but the effort is what you see What's where it's, you, don't, you can't teach that. And it's amazing because there are just things that he do, that he does that you just, uh, you know, wouldn't expect from a guy his uh, frame, um, you know, because he is tough. And, um, you know, I mean, he's got these teeny little pencil arms, my goodness. But like uh, his, you know, that 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 touchdown in the red zone, this is a team that's had a brutally hard time scoring in the red zone. Um, I think I think the stat was last week that they were over their first nine, um, you know, uh, with zero yards gained, uh, you know, uh, in, in to, to start the game against Cleveland. And then you get that little play, the super quick release and he's gone. Uh, and I will say Zappy delivered a little Mahomesy sort of three quarter to get it to him, but it was a, I mean, that play, I mean, that release off the line, that was an eye popping uh, thing that he was able to do because that's what everybody was freaking out about. Like he's so teeny, he's going to get murdered. Whereas a guy like Nikhil Harry for all of his size and, and, and seeming physicality, he played so much smaller than he actually was. I, I, the thing is, Nikhil had his flashes, and I feel like it usually came in a situation where people weren't really as a blocker. It. No, I'm saying like <laughs> down like there was at least, and again, it's not like it was so many that I, there's not like some crazy point I'm trying to make that like we missed out on him. Right, right, right. Frankly, I think he's probably going to have one deep shot where he comes down with it against like Jack Jones, just because he's still massive, and he I think wasn't used in the way where it's just like you really throw him the ball and let him be competitive. And I think part of that is you have to earn those opportunities. And though he came through more often, than I think people remember slants, like, especially once Cam Newton got there, he was pretty automatic when targeted, like he caught everything. It was just that he wasn't really making the yak plays people expected. He wasn't being targeted downfield very often. So it was more like a chain mover kind of role. Uh, but, you know, I, Belichick said it too, like it just wasn't a good fit. Um, and I hope that he, you know, can at least give Chicago that big body kind of just throw it up and let him do something with it kind of presence, which I do think, I, I really do think that is where his role in the NFL could be as a, as any kind of game changing presence. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with Thornton. I, I, I think it's a, it's a, it's a nice progression. In it's terms nice. Of 
I just want to see. I'd like to see how much they use him uh, when uh, when when they have the full complement because uh, Nelson Aguilar, who missed last week, is back uh, practicing in full. Looks like he's going to be playing. Um, so I, I am curious where Thornton kind of falls into that pecking order, especially uh, in a week where you finally got the uh, tight ends involved for the first time in a long time, and uh, that's something that hasn't happened uh, for the Patriots really. Uh, and they do run a lot of those two tight end personnel packages, which means there's fewer receivers on the field, which means means again there's just fewer opportunities for a guy like Thornton so it's a good problem to have but you do want to get the ball in the hands of your playmakers particularly if you don't have this real deep strike offense or you know there's just not a lot of big play guys on the team and, and he's one of them